Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Natchi, coming at you with a little Beacon Rush action. This is Shenzhen, this is War Robots 10.0, and we're going to have a little fun for you guys. I'm dropping something completely different, guys. This is the Corrupted Fafner, and no, we're not going to be flying with this, because you already know, if it flies, it dies in the current meta. So, this here is a Corrupted Fafner with an autopilot and the Ghost skill. The Ghost skill, uh, when you max it out and you uh, have it at max tier level, gives you a 60, 61% bump in speed. And that is, that's huge. That's, that's a big bump in survivability for this, being able to use speed to get in and out of cover areas and take some good pot shots. Now I do have on here four of the uh, cryptic, or excuse me, the cryptic hazards. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, there goes a nice double kill. Um, this is this is a very interesting build, guys. Um, doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles to it. Doesn't fly. Doesn't have shields. But what it has now is speed and you know in a pinch phase shift. And of course, you throw a good uh, you know the good pilot on here, the autopilot, which I have. This is firing these uh, you know hazards at about 30 35 percent faster firing rate which gives us some nice punch, guys. It's a really interesting tank alternative. And I'm gonna say tank loosely because this does have, it has 100 defense points. It has a 50% damage reduction, which is the same as the Fenrir. It doesn't have as many hit points as the Fenrir, but it does have that same damage resistance. So this can be used as kind of a brawler in a pinch, uh, but it's more of a mid-range tactical bot. And honestly, I like this over the Ares. Because now we're into, because everything is going to have Shield Breaker. And the new uh, bot and pi the new bot pilot slash drone setup is going to have, of course, uh, you know, Shield Breaker built in as well. So, I mean, really, the shielded bots are going to be really, really hurting this meta. So this one here is kind of an anti-shield, anti-shield build. <laughs> or I should say a counter-shield build. And not that we counter shields, but it's just... It's just alternative. This is not a build you'd really see on the battlefield. And especially in Champion League. <laughs> but there's another kill right there. I mean, seriously, this is not a bad bot to run. If you use concealment and cover and run it correctly, which is, you know, cat and mouse, taking the shots where you can, being an opportunistic tactical assassin is what this is good for. So definitely a very different kind of build for you guys. Now, I do have, like I said, the Ghost skill on here, which gives it 61% speed bump. I have Roadhog on here, which is another, I think, 15% uh, speed bump. And I, have st I also have the uh, Adamant Roadhog, which gives me another big speed bump when we're down on beacons. So I've opted for speed on this, because that's what you really need. So you got to come in and out of cover, and you've got to be able to you know, change your location rapidly. So that is definitely what this is uh, good for. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to show you here. This is a little bit more of a brawler type pattern right here. We're going to get right in this invader space here. And you can see I'm taking a little damage, but um, I'm still holding up okay. I mean, I'm able to uh, punch out with this guy. I mean, this is kind of a tank build, like I said. Not as good as, uh, you know, the ultimate Fenrir that I got, but still not horribly bad. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the Blitz. Now, of course, I do have the autopilot over there on... I got another autopilot, and I leveled it up and put that on that Cryptic Fafner. Or, yeah, Cryptic Fafner. And now this here is, of course, the Arden Blitz, and I have a second autopilot running on this one. And I'm just a little bit short on uh, Blights to put full Blights on here, so I've got two Spears and two Blights, which is not a horribly bad combo of firepower since you get the increased uh, firing rate of the autopilot. But this is definitely, these are definitely builds you're not going to see in Legends League. Guys, <laughs> you're really not. Uh, fun to run, but uh, definitely you're not going to be running up super kill counts all the time with this. They, these are not meta builds, but definitely fun to play. Okay, let's go ahead and, yeah, I'm down to one weapon. I'm just about out here. Uh, I will be uh, dropping, yeah, I got one more uh, radiation build for you guys I want to drop. Another plasma build, and this is going to be the angler. And uh, we've, I've done I've done the angler before, so I kind of saved this one till the, the last part of my uh, you know drop list today. And this is a decay and three blights. This thing is a, a nice tanky tanky bot. 
and it's nice being able to do some work at, you know, since this is slow, it's good to have a 600 meter range. So I don't necessarily have to try to plod my way down the field to get some shots on someone. I can take the shots back, like on here, over halfway back on the map. And that is a huge, huge leg up for this particular build, is giving it that range. And of course, this is a 500,000 plus hit point build. Definitely, this is a tank. And it's a good alternative tank. If you don't want a Fenrir, you don't want to have an invader, you have one of these from previous, uh, you know, previous gameplay, this is still a very solid bot to run. So let's go ahead and just kind of mosey our way into that spawn point here. We got a couple Titans here. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna just stick my head in here and get hammered on, but there we go as a target right there. Let's work on the Merle Mitts. I'm just gonna take a few shots on them. Now, since this does not have a autopilot on it, this has one of the specialty pilots for the angler. Uh, of course, these weapons fire a little bit slower than the corrupted Fafner and the Blitz build I just dropped. But still, plenty of punch power. Just, I mean, more than enough to get the job done. And of course, I do tend to get a lot more assists with this. With that slower firing rate, I tend to end up getting a lot more assists than kills, which is perfectly fine. I don't mind being a team player and getting some assists on the battlefield. The kill is always a glory thing, but uh, if you want, I see someone out there and they got eight, nine assists and you know maybe one kill. I know they put their mitts on a lot of different bots. They went out there and assisted and pounded on other bots. So definitely assists are a good thing. Ooh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, come on, run, you silly, silly Skyros, you eight ball of doom. Let's... Uh, go. Yeah, I got I got two Titans are heading that way. They can go get them. Uh, I'm going to kind of just drift my way back towards our uh, this beacon back down here. Oh, here he comes. There's that Skyros. He just came running up on me. But I think we can get this guy out of here first. There we go. There's a nice kill. Now let's go ahead and work on the Skyros. He's going to run. He's going to get hammered. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get him. Let me get him. Ba-boom. There we go. Nice. Uh, definitely that, you know... Ramping up damage with each successive hit for you know the three burst is definitely definitely a good thing with these weapons. I mean seriously guys, if you're free to play, absolutely grind yourself out a set of blights. You know, two or yeah, you know, I'd say like four of them are good, but you know, get a couple blights, get a couple hazards, get a couple decays. They will help you build a very solid hanger uh, that'll take you well into uh, master and into champion league. And, of course, yeah, this is not Legends League material, but honestly, to get into Legends League, you're talking high-end squad play versus solo play anyhow. Come on, come on, come on. There's a nice rampage right there. Sweet! Nice bomb out right there. Uh, got the victory, running radiation weapons. A lot of fun. And definitely, uh, <laughs> just coming out and debuting my cryptic, fa my cryptic Fafner uh, was definitely a fun one. Eight kills, four beacon caps, five assists, 3.4 million. Hey, that was a pounder. Let's uh, go ahead and hop into one more match for you guys. And then I've been saying this next video, we'll be looking at my new toys from the update. Alrighty guys, here we go. We're going to hop into the second part of this match here and uh, the abyss. This will be fine. This has some great open spots. Uh, we're going to run again, the, you know, the cryptic Fafner and we're going to just go out here and tear a few things up, hopefully. Um, I already kind of went through the positives and negatives of these particular builds in the first match. Uh, I don't know if I would run this all the time. But I tell you what, once in a while when I'm feeling, I just want something different. I want something on the battlefield that isn't the meta, isn't the standard builds that everyone's running. This is definitely something worth giving a rip. Uh, this is, I wouldn't grind and build this right off the top of, uh, you know, if you're going to build something in the workshop, I'd say build a Skyros, build yourself a Fenrir. Uh, I wouldn't say Fafner is the one thing you want to focus on right off the bat. But if you've got, if you've got spare time and spare resources, this, this is entertaining. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this, this is actually kind of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's hop up on top. Let's do a little sniping if we can. I gotta be very mindful of, uh, when I'm sitting up here, of Crisis Reaper builds or Behemoth Reaper builds. Uh, I mean, I gotta watch out for things that have long range that can kind of pick me off. Like, yeah, right there, I'm getting hammered. Let's move to the side. 
And that's where this extra speed from the ghost skill on the pilot comes into play. There is a uh, additional, a, a, what's it? It's like a traditionalist style skill you can get for this as well that like really beefs up your hit points. It gives you like almost like 50% more hit points. But I just, honestly, you need the speed to get behind cover. That for me seems more important, uh, especially with this particular build that I'm running. Because I I run plenty of takey bots. I need something that's a little more tactical. And, oh my gosh, there it is. It's a fat one. Let's get him out of the air. Just wait for the reload. Quick reload. Three seconds and boom. <laughs> Goodbye. Take him right out of the air. See, that's the problem with the Fafner. It, it used to be the flying beast, and it was just absolutely a nightmare on the battlefield. Don't run it like that anymore. It, it's really not a flight-worthy bot anymore. And with all the shield breaker coming out, it's going to be worthless even when it's in the air for that very short period of time where it has she has an impermeable shield. It's still just going to get absolutely destroyed. So don't uh, I just I just I, I would run this only as a ground creature, like I'm right. Ooh, where are we going? Ow, June. Let's wait for him to come on. My butt. Put him in the air. There we go. Some little damage to him. Give him a love. Let's go wait for him. Come on, come on, come on, and ba-boom! Triple kill. Nice. Um, this, is, this is just fun. A lot of fun to run. Okay. Now, what... I mean, seriously, what, down in the comments, what are some of your non-traditional builds that you like to run that are fun? Not necessarily that they're going to be meta, not that they're going to take you to, you know, the upper echelons of uh, Champion League, but ones that you can go out there and just have fun running. I'm going to say this one. Go ahead. List off some bots for me. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm just curious. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, people have been asking me too about, you know, am I going to on this rampage? Am I going to weigh in on the whole predator Manny petition thing? And honestly, guys, I was never asked to be involved in that whole mess to start with, so I really have no feelings towards it, and I really, really am not going to waste my time on it. So much drama. And it really, it really doesn't need to be that way. So that's my feeling on it. Go watch their videos. Check out uh, Manny's petition. Check out, uh, you know, the petition that Predator puts up. Uh, you know, make your own decisions. For me, there's so much drama behind it, it kind of ruined the effort on both ends. So I'm just done with that. And I'm just going to keep voicing my opinion here on the channel because I know, I know they come and watch my videos. I know that I voice my opinions in our forums on Discord. And... What they do is what they do. There's just really not much we can do about it. They haven't, you know, they haven't jumped out of their uh, out of their way to, you know, make huge accommodations for the, even the biggest of our influencers in the group. So, even if we can get some small quality of life changes done, I'd be appreciative of it. And the idea of a petition, or at least a list of issues that should be, you know, could be addressed in the game, isn't a bad idea. It really isn't. I run my own little, uh, let's get him. boom, there we go. I run my own little, you know, for lack of better terms, surveys here on the channel. And I do give that information back. So it just, it just is what it is, guys. You either have to have fun with the game or not have fun with the game. And if you're not having fun, by all means, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't fault anyone for taking a break from the game for a while. I just, I just wouldn't. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. That's really all I'm going to say on that. Okay, back to the fun here. And this, of course, is my hybrid blitz, which I uh, talked about in the first uh, match. And boom, I just got blown up. Uh, that's the one thing, too, with these fun alternative builds, guys. They are squishy. They are going to get blown up. Uh, these are not Ochos. These are not Curries. This is not Ultimate Fenrir's. These are just fun alternative bots with some good punch power. They can actually, uh, you know, play a decent game, even in Champion League. And that's what I'm in. I'm in Champion League, so let's go ahead and work on this now. Last uh, last update, 9.9.9, .9 I ended with just a little over 13,000 League Trophy points, which uh, put me about 1,500 out of Legends League. So I can say I was probably in the top 1,000 players at that, uh, at that point, so... And that's running the Ocho Curry and then the uh, Eiffel with lots of firepower. And I just ground and ground and ground it up. Oh, let's go work on this guy. 
Here's a crisis build. I don't necessarily need to have you out of stealth to hit you going. You are at, right at my elevation. There you go. Drop out. Just gotta wait. I gotta wait here for a second. Use spaceship. And now we'll take him out. And ba boom. There's a nice double kill. Radiation weapons. I can't stress it more to you guys who are free to play or pocket change. Weapons worthy of putting on the battlefield. This is definitely one of my two top categories. Blast charge shotguns, radiation weapons. They're just, seriously, those two combination of weapons, you can build hangers, solid beastie hangers. Alrighty guys, there we go, took the victory. Just a fun one for you guys. Um, next one, I keep saying this next video, will be my new toys. Well, we'll look at the Pathfinder and whatever else Pixonic gives me in the content creator program. Alrighty, just a fun one. Alrighty guys, if you uh, like what you're seeing and hearing, make sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, that way you know when I'm dropping it. And let's go ahead and get my resources here. Nine kills, four assists, and 3.6 eh, million. Not bad. Alrighty guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.